And hey there, friends. I got an over the garden wall reaction for you. It feels really nice. Chapter 6 Lullaby in Frogland. Wait, Frogland? Wait, I. Wait, I heard that though. What? Wait a minute, is that a ship full of frogs? But. Also. Yeah, have you been noticing in the title that there have been, like, train sounds? I've been hearing, like, train tracks and a train whistle and whatnot. It's been getting added over the intro, but it feels like it's changing up every time, you know? Yeah, they're, they're, they're all frogs. Oh, oh, wait, are those giant cockroaches? Ew. I mean, it must be their, their ride and their, oh, bug lollipops. Yeah. Wait, is that supposed to be Kitty? Oh. oh, wait, so they're on the ferry right now. So they're on the ferry they need the two coins for, but is Greg dancing with Kitty the frog? How did he get so big? But has anyone eaten one of those bug lollipops where, you know, there's like an insect and a lollipop or a candy? Have you tried that? Our journey is finally over. Soon, is it now? I won't have to worry about that woodsman or that beast or whatever. I mean, yeah, they're away from the unknown, right? Pretty happy, huh, Beatrice? Huh? Or are they still in the unknown? Sure. You all right? Beatrice? Uncharacteristically wistful. Oh. What? Sorry, just. Yeah, she seems really uneasy right now. I mean, they're on the ferry. They're going to Adelaide's house. That's the goal right there. So she can get her curse removed and never. It's so crazy that she, he said that she and her family are cursed to be blue bluebirds. Thinking. That is still not. Yeah, the frog is big. Has he always been that big now? Oh, oh they're singing together. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. It's so weird seeing the frog just being so big right now, but hold on, Wirt is actually excited now. Usually he's been all like anxious and whatnot, but now he's like singing along with Greg. That's cute. <laughs> and he's laughing Boy. big time. Finally going home. <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy going home too, you know. What's with Beatrice? I don't know. What's with George Washington being naked? Wait, what? Th that wait, what? All the other frogs Hello? Are dressed up nice. Aww. His name is George Washington now? He's an outcast oh. and he's cold. <laughs> Feel these cold feet. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's supposed to be cold, Greg. <laughs> Yeah, what is up? So, he's the only naked frog here, I guess? Okay. <laughs> George Washington. He's a frog. <laughs> he's our frog. Well, he's not my frog. The way or she's not my frog. We don't really know its gender. Oh. That <gasps> Come on, oh. George. You're a manly frog, <laughs> and you need some socks. Oh. All right, short. But I thought his name was Kit. Wait, what's going on? <gasps> It's because the president is nude. What is that? The snuck on without paying. Oh, yeah. oh wait. That's because Greg threw all our money away. If oh yeah. Oh. Dang. Were you trying to throw Greg under the bus over here? But yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna say they did have the two coins, but then for Greg it didn't make any sense, and then he just threw the coins into a fountain. Yeah, that's what happened. And also that would answer the comments if they heard me earlier talking about the two cents, and they're like. Tuna, you know he threw the two cents in the fountain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> the flies. <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, how'd they do that? Did they jump overboard and get up there? Oh. Oh. <gasps> your boy. Wait, your, ba your baby. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Always salute the captain, by the way. That, hold on, that whole tadpole thing is nuts. You bring your tadpoles onto a ship, and then I am glad that none of them, like, got squished or anything. <laughs> oh. Ah, 
Hey, George Washington. Good day, gentle... <laughs> Good day gentlemen. We, the band, must be going now to join the band. <laughs> oh, no. Bart, drum me. Okay. Drum me. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh. Are we good? He just popped so. some eye holes right there. So you gotta face your problems. Turn yourself in and get kicked off this boat. Oh. Wait, Beatrice wouldn't be like that, though. But yeah, where is right? Beatrice is acting, you know, uncharacteristically Beatrice right now. Now she's saying get kicked off this boat to go out to find more sense. I don't think today's a good day to get arrested by frogs. Yeah, how would that work, though? Hey. Is there a froggy jail? Push me. Oh. <laughs> hey, but George Washington's got clothes on. Look at Greg. <laughs> yeah, drum him. <laughs> These frogs are cute. Aww. <laughs> I'm finally fulfilling my dream of being a drum. Now drum me in the face. Okay, shh. Don't draw attention to us. Oh, 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 oh. Great job. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. that poor tadpole, though. Oh, oh, my goodness. I, 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 I really hear frogs get so angry. They're getting a bit suspicious. Hey, why don't you play the bassoon? I, I, I love, I just. Also, I love George Washington sitting on Wirt's head right there the entire time. But also, I don't think I've ever heard a bunch of frogs be angry going, oh, 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 That'll get us kicked off this boat for sure. <gasps> you gotta no, try it. That's right. You should play it. Go ahead. You'll do fine. Oh. Bassoon and clarinet are way different. I don't have the embouchure for bassoon. The embouchure? The just have some similarities in terms of... You can do it. Seriously, nobody wants to hear me play. Oh. I do. Oh, Beatrice, the uh, George, George too. <laughs> they are hopping mad right now. Yeah, yeah, here we go. They are hopping mad, but hold on. Did you notice that when Greg keeps mentioning that we'll get kicked off the ship, Beatrice is like, oh, "Wart, you should do it." Beatrice really wants to get off the ship for sure. There's something going on. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be good, right? They just want you to play it. When the lake is a Hello? And the moon rides the waves he can talk? Soul sets his voice singing, to be slightly oh, hold on. That's some froggy riz right there, but... Hold up. What is with these animals randomly talking out of nowhere? The bird talks, the horse talks, the frog talks. If the bassoon and the drum start talking too, I know they're not animals, but if they start talking too, I'm gonna flip. A song rises over but he's got a good voice though. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness, dang. They got moves. Hey, Beatrice, thanks for supporting my bassooning. Aww. good. But also, one other thing, though. With the art style of the frogs, you know what, what it reminds me of? The Mr. Frog and Mr. Toad storybooks. Do you remember those? Like, Mr. Toad, Mr. Frog? Hopefully I'm getting that right, but that's what the art style reminds me of. The best part is, we're still on track to get to Adelaide's. Yep, that's great. Yeah, she doesn't seem happy about it. I don't want you to. Oh. Never mind, never mind. She doesn't want you to. Oh, oh. Whoa, he is naked. For free, George. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Over oh. Treetops and mountains. Oh, George trying to say it's okay to be naked. It's okay to be nude. It's okay to do it as long as you're singing. Over the trees and mountains. <laughs> but he can sing for sure. <laughs> oh, were they being... Oh, was that Greg watching them? 
Wait, they fall asleep? Oh. I mean, this seems really relaxing, though. Oh, the bassoon at the end. Nice job, board. Nice job. So he can play a mean bassoon. But yeah, it's like you're trying to pick up the details in this, so everybody's relaxing at the end. But for some reason, Beatrice doesn't want to go to Adelaide's now. But they made it, though. Nice. The way they just quickly get off, I love that. Oh. Oh, wait. Do frogs do that, though? We should probably just go tomorrow, I think. Oh. We don't want to bother her too late, you know? What are we supposed to do? So just sit around in the mud with these frogs? Yeah, what are they going to do with an... Oh, oh, oh. Over there. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you can meet Adelaide tomorrow, but at the same time, you... So what, you're going to spend the night in mud? You have to find another way to eat and sleep, I guess, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so then what? Well... Then They're just chilling in the mud. I mean, like, really talk to her, you know? Put all my cards oh. on the table, you know? Yeah. Is this yeah, about a girl you're into? Funderburger comes out of nowhere. Funderburger? Oh, Jason Funderburger. What are these last... Oh. You're eating a leaf? Oh. Oh. Even more. Are you gonna eat a leaf? Oh. Sounds like you're a real loser back home. Wow. I gotta say, so it's gonna be another night of no eating, but... At the same time, nobody has ever, like, they, they, they haven't been mentioning that they've been hungry, you know? Have the only thing they've been eating are the potatoes, because I've been told that with, the, with all the bread, that the horse ate the bread. Fred the horse, I believe, right? That he's been eating the bread. Have, have these kids eaten anything? Oh, thanks a lot. I mean, compared to how you are here, here oh. you're like a hero and stuff, right? Oh. I don't know if I'd say Let's hero, say you're a loser back home, though. Oh. Oh. What? You've done good, Mr. President. Oh. Does that mean George won't be joining us anymore? I can't stay here forever. Why not? Oh. Why not? Because. Yeah. Hold up. So this does feel like. Yeah, they're in a different world right now. Like, it's 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 giving me vibes that, in a way, because you know what you know what vibe this is giving me, like an isekai thing that they're in another world right now. But it's a Cartoon Network show. They wouldn't do that. They they wouldn't be aware of what an isekai is. You know, being transported to another world because in the, in the other world you've been, you know, because because I I can't just. Yeah, maybe it is better to stay here. Oh, but I what about your family? Good night, work. Oh, wow, that was quick right there. Beatrice. So I guess we're not going to Adelaide's then. Okay. Oh, Greg's got his rock. Oh. Beatrice. Wait, is she dipping? Greg, wake up. Huh? Beatrice took off. What? What's going on? Well, yeah, I guess that means Kitty won't be joining us. Kitty, George, Kitty Washington will not be joining us anymore. <gasps> He's got his socks. Come on, They're putting clothes on him and everything. He's becoming one of them now. While you're sleeping, though. Oh. Wait. Is this at? Oh. Oh. Things to my tender, delicate skin. Hold up. So fresh air hurts her. She seems like a weak woman in bed. What is going on here? Adelaide, we need to talk. Hmm? Did you bring me what I asked for? Wait. Found two brothers lost in the woods, but I can't give them to you. Adelaide. Can't give them to you? Oh. Yeah, sure. Wait, excuse me? I thought you just wanted some yard work done. Oh. It was for you to bring me a child Oh. So it was a setup the entire time. The reason why Beatrice has been focused on these two boys is because that's what Adelaide's been asking for. For child servants? This is messed up. 
to snip, snip, snip oh. your family's wings away to make oh. them. Oh. I became your servant. Oh. I need a big, strong child. Why a child? Wait, that makes sense. So, yeah, snip her wings away, right? Oh. So, give me the scissors. I'll go help my family. Yeah. Oh. But, yeah, at the same time, is that the only way to turn back to human? Getting your wings snipped? Wouldn't that hurt? I'm pretty sure getting scissors cut through your wings, even if you turn back to human, you'll be like, Ow! My wings! There's a door. I'll catch my death and go. What's Ooh. going on? You shouldn't be here. Yeah? Adelaide? Welcome home, children. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Beatrice, what? Oh, no. But I thought we were friends. Now they are mine. Oh. Once I fill their heads with wool, they'll become Wait, what? just like little sheep. Wool? Head the head. Wait, wait, what? Head the fill their heads with wool so they'll lose their humanity and whatnot? All along, even leading us to this crazy lady? I do. Yeah, that. that the voice oh. of the night, the beast. Of oh, the beast. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, wait, the cold air. The night air is poisonous. Do it, Beatrice. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay, that was disturbing right there, but I'm sure they have to hold back because of Cartoon Network standards, but can you imagine if this wasn't Cartoon Network, how much more crazy it will look? Oh, they used the scissors, didn't they? They ran away. Oh, oh. Hmm. Now they're on their own. Beatrice. Hmm. I shouldn't have trusted anyone. Anyone. Huh? But Yeah, now this changes everything. So Oh man, it's like I thought Beatrice was cool, but at the same time, but at the end she's like she really trusted these two boys right here. She's like, am I really doing what's right right now? Giving up two lives to save my family? It just shows that Beatrice isn't evil herself, which I do appreciate. Oh. <gasps> Benjamin Franklin. Ben Benjamin Franklin. But he's back. He took off the socks and everything. I guess that record contract's broken. But... Wow, what an episode, though. What an episode. So, there's a lot to pick up here. So, I take it the episode title, Lullaby and Frogland, was literally the frog, they, that, that, that because of the song, the frogs were put to rest and they were able to hibernate in the mud, I guess. But then we actually get to meet Adelaide and Beatrice just straight up, straight up kills Adelaide right there if she is dead. But this whole time... Beatrice was being friends with these two boys to bring him to Adelaide to uncurse her family but also make these two kids into servants but over time Beatrice really cares about Wirt and Greg. I'm pretty sure she thought oh I have a worth I have these two worthless boys over here but over time she and Wirt got to know each other better that in this show Wirt is a hero to her. They've done so many things together, so of course, like, Adelaide bonded, no, not Adelaide, Beatrice bonded with these two kids. They may be, they may be kids, but they are good kids. But, yeah, the way that, the way that Adelaide melted from that air, though, I'm sure there's a lot to pick up from this and whatnot, but I gotta see what's going on, because Adelaide listens to the beast, so it seems like at the top of the food chain, it is always the beast, the one who sings that song about getting the oil for the lantern and whatnot. I'm really curious to see what happens next, but I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll catch you next time.